in the Lucky You, a new Irish space shop in, in Hamden. Uh, well, Sean, um, I'm Katie O'Neill Regan. I am a first generation Irish woman. My parents are from Ireland. They actually met on the boat coming over. Um, I am homebred here in Hamden and my Irish roots have been something very important to me and as I've gotten older, I was a nurse, I've had the pleasure of being a mother of four beautiful daughters, all my girls are grown, three married, my youngest now is, has a career out in Chicago. Uh, and how does a nurse open up a gift shop? What's the story there? No, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, the story continues there. Um, nursing, as I said, I was a nurse um, when I went away with my husband's job. We were living in Bermuda and I had the opportunity to be a volunteer at hospice and I went back online to get my degree and yet there was something, I felt like there's something else needed to be done for me. So I had gone to visit my dad's grave, I actually, and after visiting the Ireland's Great Hunger Museum that Quinnipiac University has. Um, where the, an idea came to me, but maybe it wasn't time to go back into nursing. Uh, this idea came about, why don't you open up an Irish gift shop? Give the Irish uh, culture, give Americans an opportunity to see the other half and experience the other half of uh, Irish history. Oh, so, so the museum seems to play a, um, a big part in your dream. The, the museum was a catalyst, absolutely. Um, I went to Quinnipiac, my undergrad is from there. I'm from Hamden. Uh, as I said, my parents were Irish immigrants. And I think as I got older, I never really understood the sacrifices that were made of, of Ir the Irish immigrant and of Ireland herself. So, oh, okay. so uh, yeah, that, that museum really, really touched my heart years ago. And have you been back and forth to Ireland a lot? Actually, I have as well. My husband's job, uh, he has an office there, so I've been with him. I was just there this past January. Uh, once a year they have an Irish showcase where all the vendors go um, in the trade. So I got to experience what Ireland has to offer so I could bring that to my customers. Oh. Mm. How do you feel about Ireland when you go back? Oh. Now? What's the sensations you get? What are the sensations I get? You know what? Um, I love Ireland. And that is that in itself is interesting because my first time there was when I was seven years old. And I will tell you, I did not like it. Um, as a seven-year-old, I did not have great memories of it. I just remember it was cold and rainy, and I didn't like the food, everything I thought was wrong. And yet, then I went back, when my husband and I went back, oh, about 20 years ago, and fell in love with it. So when I go back now, um, yeah, it feels very comfortable, and it feels like home. It's just, it's a very special place. You shop. When you come to Lucky You Irish Goods, um, I hope... I'm, I'm trying to give my customers a feeling of, of what's of the best arts and craftsmanship that's going on right now over in Ireland. Um, there's some amazing, I have Nicholas Moss pottery, I have um, um, emerald crystal, Galway crystal. Emerald crystal is, is a new crystal. It actually was founded in 2009 by former Waterford Crystal employees. Wait, what, uh, emerald is actually made in Ireland, so, um, and it's got beautiful shamrocks on it. I was just really taken by that. Um, and again, then we have the knitwear, the knits. Uh, Ireland, you think of Ireland, you think of the traditional fisherman sweater. Well, Ireland sweaters have cups, so there's just so much more than that. And, and Guinness has a great line of products as well. So, and then, of course, the jewelry. The jewelry is just uh, beautiful. There's a lot of, um, besides the cladas and the shamrocks, there's a lot of beautiful Celtic knotwork that's represented. I have Keith Jack, Shinora, Banshee Silver out of um, uh, Sligo. So just all different kinds of products that you will find mm. there. I'm hoping it to be a little a different experience when you come in than any other store. My vision is to have products from Ireland, um, and if not, uh, obviously I can't be 100% from Ireland, but everything is Celtic inspired. And my vision is that when you come in here, you get a taste of Ireland and all her magic and majesty.